Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you pretty much everything I have bought whilst being in New Zealand all together for a year. Me and Finn leave New Zealand in five days to go back home and kind of start the next chapter of our lives and our long-term travelling has come to an end almost, which is crazy to think. We have been travelling for almost a year and a half. It's been a long, long time to be away from home and we're super ready to go back and kind of start that next thing. But I wanted to show you guys what I'd bought in New Zealand. So if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Ellie. I have been mainly creating travel vlogs for the last year and a half with my boyfriend Finn and I've been living in New Zealand on a working holiday visa for altogether a year. In the, a year, we, me and Finn have bought a lot of stuff. Um, we have accumulated a lot of things. There's brands out here that are Australian, New Zealand brands that you don't get at home. And yeah, I'm gonna show you everything I've bought because I thought it would be quite interesting to kind of do a New Zealand haul. So before we start, make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up, subscribe down below if you're not already. And yeah, let's go on with the video. So I've kind of put it into sections with brands, but you're gonna have to excuse me because there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, right, I'm gonna start off with my kind of miscellaneous pile of clothes, and then I'll kind of go through everything else. So first thing is first, last Christmas, Christmas, not the Christmas, just gone the Christmas before, December 2022, um, Finn got me a gift card for Lorna Jane. Lorna Jane is a active wear brand and um i i've always kind of liked the look of their stuff but it is fairly expensive um so what i picked up with the gift card is these cycling shorts they are so comfortable best cycling shorts i've ever worn i wore these throughout asia so much i wore them a lot because they were so comfortable breathable didn't feel too tight on my waist or anything and they've also got this pocket here um, on both sides, which I love that you can just slip your phone in there. You know it's on you. Um, yeah, they are so comfortable. I have worn them so much. And I've also got a matching sports bra, which I don't wear as much. I haven't done a lot of exercise in the last six months. Um, but yeah, they were so worth it. Obviously, you can get the Lululemon ones and everything like that. But I am so happy with this pair and I know they're gonna last me a long, long time. Carrying on with kind of the active wear, um, I actually went into Rebel Sport, which is, I don't know what the equivalent of it would be in the UK, but it's uh, just a sportswear brand shop. They sell loads of different stuff. And I have these Nike Pro leggings that I've had for over 10 years, <laughs> probably 10 years this year actually, and they had holes and they needed to go really. And <laughs> they were kind of my comfy pair that I'd wear around the house or to just go out in um so i needed a repl i needed a replacement um i went into rebel sport and i picked up these now nothing super special but these are some adidas yoga like kind of long length leggings really really comfortable that it's kind of a soft material um and these were originally a hundred dollars which is about 50 pounds and they were reduced to $70, which is about 35. So I thought that was quite a respectable price and hopefully they'll last me a long time. I love just slipping on leggings and a sweatshirt um, if I'm in a rush or if I'm just going to the supermarket. Next one, I think is really funny. Um, me and Finn went into d &E, which is kind of the dealership of John Deere out here in New Zealand. And um, I wanted to get a piece of merch to remind myself of driving tractors out here in New Zealand because that is something that I don't think I'm ever going to do again and I just wanted something to commemorate that something that I can just pop on like a bed t-shirt or a cap or anything and I ended up getting this pink John Deere t-shirt I can imagine this is going to turn into a um, t-shirt that I just wear to bed or something but um, yeah it's a long pink John Deere t-shirt and I thought that was perfect to get before we go home. <laughs> Next, um, I remember at the beginning of our first season here, so kind of October, November time, I went into Dotty, which is an Australian brand, fashion brand, and I ended up buying a denim play suit. That is one thing that is packed away. I'm going to keep that packed away, um, which I actually haven't really worn this year, to be honest at all. I also picked up this dress. It is this lovely linen style corset dress. If you can't see, it's kind of this rigid style corset. Um, 
and yeah it's a long midi dress i absolutely love it it's really comfortable really breathable just floaty and i've worn this for both christmases and like any celebration kind of events um out here and this was i think about 70 dollars about 35 pounds which i think for a dress was really really reasonable um I will say fast fashion brands out here like you don't have anything you can't really buy stuff online you can but it will take ages to come it's not like next day delivery like in the UK so usually you go out and buy a dress and usually they're around $180 around £80 kind of for a good dress which if I was earning the money at that time I would have 100% put money into that which I have with the rest of my clothing but at the time I just wanted a fairly cheap dress and this has done me so well I can imagine I'm going to be wearing this to for easter i can imagine myself wearing this at home um it's super comfortable and light and floaty and i love it so next thing is there is a shop called hunting and fishing here in new zealand um it is in new zealand hunting fishing everything that is really really popular and uh, finn has been lucky enough to do some of it but the shop there is great for any outerwear outdoor stuff and hunting and fishing have their own clothing line now we went to a show in New Zealand and um, the biggest like agriculture show in the South Island and we managed to get some things cheaper than they would be in, in the sh um, cheaper because it's kind of end of season. First thing I got which I've worn a lot more than I thought I would is this fleece. This is a hunting and fishing branded fleece. Inside it is just pure fluff and fleece. It is so warm. I wore this when we were traveling the south island here we go sorry i can't get the whole picture of it in um i yeah i i wore this so much traveling the south island i've worn it so much for work i wanted something other than like this fluorescent hoodie that we wore for work that would be warm and easy to put on and yeah it has been so comfy i got this for 30 dollars so 15 pounds which is so cheap and then this is going to be great for walks in the winter um, anything like that if we go decide to go camping anything like that it'll be really great for home now talking about more fast fashion brands I did tend to try and not buy anything from fast fashion brands because I'm trying to stop myself from doing that as much but there is a shop called glass on who do kind of in trend fashion it's an australian brand and they did buy a few things one was just um i bought a couple like plain t-shirts which were fairly cheap for asia i also bought one just stripy t-shirt which was just easy and comfortable and breathable um but they were inexpensive they're around like 20 30 dollars so 10 15 pounds for a t-shirt but there is a couple of things that I want to show you that I did pick up. First thing was in, where were we? In Queenstown at Christmas. I bought myself these shorts. These are like 90 style shorts. They um, kind of sit at the hips and flare out a little bit. These were on sale for $30. So £15 for a pair of shorts. And I just wanted something that was comfortable. And these were so comfortable. I haven't got any pairs of shorts anymore that... I could just throw on and feel comfortable in I don't like how tight they are sometimes and these were perfect so I got those I then in Christmas um at the same time I needed like an outfit that was fairly nice because when we first came out traveling I was like oh I don't think I'll need anything to dress up and go out but then when I came I was like oh well, I'm actually living here aren't I and I am still going to do some of those things that's why I bought the dress and stuff and I ended up buying this black play suit or body suit sorry um this was not that expensive at all um looks really flattering on and you can just throw it on with some jeans or what i've bought next and it look fairly nice i also ended up whilst i was in that buying this khaki denim long midi skirt it's very long <laughs> goes all the way down to my my ankles and it's got like this split as you can see at the back this was it's actually quite stretchy so it's quite comfortable and look really nice with the bodysuit with even Birkenstocks or anything like that to kind of dress it up a little bit and um, I really really like that and I will be wearing that at home I think especially for autumn looks really really nice in autumnal colour. Right, one more thing kind of from the miscellaneous pile so when we were at that agricultural show we also wanted to try and get a coat because we stayed longer than we thought we would the first time we were here in New Zealand it was actually going into autumn and getting quite cold. Now I bought and um, Finn bought one of these Stony Creek coats. Stony Creek is a really really good 
good outdoor brand um finn has got loads from them now they are such good quality items expensive but really good quality now this coat is so popular if you go to an agricultural show in new zealand you will probably see half the people maybe more wearing a stony creek coat but it's this padded coat zip here zip at the side super padded and warm and and it's hooded as well this was discounted um and i got it for 270 dollars now that is probably around 135 pounds which actually doesn't seem that much for a really good quality outdoor coat coats can actually cost so much and i wanted to make sure i was buying items at this point that was going to last me a long time that i'd take home and definitely use as well this is going to be amazing if we go camping, if we go to the Lake District, if we, even for walking the dog or going on walks with my mum or something, this, this is going to be amazing. It's so warm, so padded and so worth the money. I We wore it at the weekend at Queenstown, we wore it the whole time we were travelling the South Island. We wore it so much and it was so worth the money. It was at this point we realised we needed a second suitcase at some point <laughs> right going on to now like specific brands um rm williams is a really really popular brand here in new zealand it's an australian country brand even people in the uk um in the agricultural world love the brand um really good quality stuff um and i have got a few things from them um they do are mainly known for boots now i have bought some rm williams chelsea boots the other women's yearling boots in black i can't show you them today because they are off getting fixed or they have been fixed i need to pick them up from valentine's in um Christchurch. Now RM Williams is available in some department short shops like Ballantines in Christchurch. There's also a shop in Queenstown in the South Island and they're expensive. Um, I love them. There was just one slight fault on the sole. Basically it wasn't flat, it was like rocking and just needed replacing or something so I'll go pick those up at the weekend and luckily they were fixed with no charge. Um, I don't think that happens very often but they are really good quality leather boots that I think are going to last me a long time. They were $749, which is about £375. Very expensive for a pair of boots, but you pay for what you get. They are handcrafted, they are very good quality, and they're going to last me a long, long time. So it's kind of an investment into the boot. And me, in the autumn, winter, I tend to wear boots a lot. I have some chunky boots at home, and now I've got these Chelsea boots, and I tend to prefer kind of wearing boots than trainers or anything like that in the autumn winter so i think i'm gonna get a lot of use out of them now for christmas finn also bought me this rm williams belt is it here um it's in the silver um just plain black leather belt i just don't have a leather belt at home so this is gonna be really really nice to wear just with jeans and it goes perfectly with the boots now these are 100 and 159 dollars so about 80 pounds um for a really good belt and again gonna last a long time now the other thing i bought from rm williams was this quarter zip jumper here it is i wanted to get something that was a little bit different um because i have all sweatshirts or hoodies um actually i forgot to talk about this um and i wanted something a little bit different and it looks really smart with jeans and boots um so it looks a little bit more dressed up if i was going for example to a show if i was going out for sunday lunch and i didn't want to dress up super fancy this is really nice to throw on and it looks really really nice and that was also 159 dollars so about 80 pounds but again really good quality as i say the things out here i've eventually bought are really good quality yes expensive but gonna last me a long time next brand now that i forgot that i will talk about is canterbury canterbury is a sports brand in new zealand mostly known for its rugby wear and made in canterbury where we are currently um finn got a few bits from there and i wanted just a hoodie i ended up getting this canterbury black hoodie which i wear around the house throw on i'm sure i'm going to use it when i go home to wear to like the gym i think it was about 80 dollars so about 40 pounds but yeah i think i'll just be wearing this for like actual sportswear it also gets some canterbury rugby shorts for work they're really popular in the uk to wear for work and they are cheaper here in new zealand they're about 40 dollars 20 pounds for the shorts so i got a few pairs of those and so did finn now going on to my favorite brand i think of all time <laughs> 
Right, so now going on to the brand Country Road. Country Road is an Australian brand again. We don't have it in the UK, and my goodness, I wish we do now. I've bought so much stuff from there, so let's get into it. <laughs> First thing is first, for my birthday this year, Finn bought me this Country Road sweatshirt in this beautiful lilac colour, which is very my colour. It's got Country Road, if you can see, on the front. I love that they stitch it in the same colour, so it's not in your face, um, but it's really nice, good quality cotton. Really, really love it. And these are about $129, I believe, um, or maybe a little bit more expensive. So they're about 60, 70 pounds. Um, but yeah, I wear this all the time. You've probably seen in my vlogs how much I wear it. Now, the next time I went into Country Road was to go and buy Finn a Christmas present, which we ended up swapping in for something for myself anyway, and I bought him something else. Um, but when I was going in there, they had a spend and save. Now, this is where everything went wrong for me because spend and save if you spend a certain amount you get a certain amount off and this is where I spent a lot of money um so I ended up buying for a jumper it didn't look right wasn't the right color so I ended up exchanging it for something for myself and I got him something else he wanted instead which was fine for me um so when I was in there originally I bought him a jumper and then track to go and buy and then I bought myself these joggers these are shorts joggers really nice kind of neutral color goes with everything um they sit really nicely on the waist and they yeah just really really nice and i think these are quite expensive i can't remember the right price for these but i wear them a lot then also bought um a tote bag um like a, a linen-y um cotton tote bag i think it was and i use that all the time um it's actually over there i'll grab it <laughs> this is the tote bag here yeah and i use it all the time i use it more like a handbag out here um or at home i'm definitely gonna have it in my handbag so i can use it for shopping and everything like that and then the homeware stuff is really nice but obviously i couldn't take a whole load of homeware stuff home but i did end up getting this mug it just has country road on the bottom i've used it every day since i've got it for my cup of tea but i'm gonna have to pack it now but i really really like it it's nice and thick and yeah just a really nice mug and Finn always says this, but I need to stop buying mugs, but I love them so much. Then I eventually got stuff swapped, so I ended up getting, I'm wearing one now. Actually, no, I'm not. I ended up swapping for a couple of t-shirts. I bought this kind of beigey, neutral colour t-shirt, and I also got the same t-shirt, but just... Hopefully the positioning hasn't changed too much. My battery ran out of charge. <laughs> um, I also got the same t-shirt in this navy color as i say it there is still the country road logo on that logo on there can't really see it because it's not too in your face which i really like about it um but yeah the t-shirts are really comfortable again really nice cotton um, and they are expensive again they're not cheap they're around how much are they they're around 80 dollars, which is about 40 pounds but it's something you expect to pay like for example like abercrombie and fitch and stuff really nice quality and just nice plain t-shirts that go with a lot um instead of just like ones that won't go with a lot and then i ended up buying a bit more um <laughs> next thing i ended up getting was i bought so those rm william boots and i needed a new pair of jeans um i find jeans really hard to find that fit me and look nice that is kind of part of my problem um i have an h&m pair which is just a bit ragged i have a top shop pair which i don't know how old they are they're great jeans but i needed a new pair jeans usually ask me for years and years so i ended up just getting these cotton jeans and they're kind of a straight leg so go with a lot um i definitely need to go out and get myself some different pairs of jeans that aren't just like straight legs um but they were super comfortable i think that was part of the reason why i wanted to get these because they were so comfortable they didn't hug around the waist so tight they were loose um and really comfortable so they were 159 dollars, which is again about 80 pound but it's kind of the price you pay for a pair of like levi's jeans and i know they're gonna last me a long time whilst i was in there again i did end up buying a shirt um so I've been on the hunt for like a nice cotton shirt just that I could throw on with jeans and like a plain t-shirt and boots just to make it kind of dressier but also like in the summer I could just throw this over the top um, and this is what I ended up getting. I got it one size bigger than I usually do just because it was in the sale but it was this really nice 
coloured um, Oxford shirt. I love the pink colour. That is one reason why I got it. Looks really smart and it's very me. Um, and yeah, I love it. Just throw it on top of jeans and t-shirt. Great to carry around with you in the evening. And yeah, I really like it. I got this for, I think, $109. Um, but that was discounted. So usually it's probably right around 159 that sort of price. Um, but yeah, super soft cotton again. And yeah. I really really like it. Now my final shop at Country Road was a big one. I ended up spending a lot but I also got a fair amount of money off. I got two t-shirts for Finn for his birthday present which he doesn't know about but they are really really nice t-shirts. The men's stuff there is also really nice um, and yeah so when I went in the last time I tried on a pair of shorts and I was umming and ahhing um, and I'm glad I waited I ended up getting these pairs of shorts. Now these are high-waisted, slightly more interesting design on the top it's not got any loopholes but at the back it's got this which you can tighten which I really really like I find it hard with shorts because they gape at the back loads do for me and these fit like a dream again the denim is really soft it just fit they fit so beautifully but yeah I just really really liked them and the design of them and because they were comfortable and I find it so hard to find denim that is comfortable I had to get them now these were $159 again um expensive for a pair of shorts but I couldn't not get them because of how nice they fit and I find it so hard to find things like that fit me well these are gonna last me a lot of summers um I then also got this which I haven't worn yet I haven't worn any of these yet because this was kind of my end of season present for myself um I got this kind of sweatshirt hoodie um it's got kind of like a straight design so it doesn't taper in but it's really really comfortable um it's got the country more modern country road kind of logo on i love the stripe design um the hood finn said the hood looks really funny but it's just really loose and just big which i really like and it's going to be so comfortable for like traveling for flights and everything like that and then it's also and got pockets in the side as well so two pockets either, either side and yeah i just i really really like it i can't wait to wear it on the flight i think i'm gonna have to make sure i wear it to make sure i definitely think it's comfortable um before we leave but yeah it's also so fluffy inside um this was 179 dollars which is expensive but as i said i bought a load i got like 200 dollars plus off i think at the end of the day um but yeah love it now this is my final <laughs> this is my final um country road purchase again i haven't used this i have just take no i haven't even taken the tags off of it i ended up getting a bag now i wanted an everyday bag that wasn't black that is nice quality i never really buy myself bags finn's always like you have loads of bags i'm like i don't <laughs> i have a really nice tory birch bag which finn got me for my graduation um and then I just wanted an everyday bag that wasn't black because I always get a black bag. Um, so I got this. This is a trio bag. So you can take the chain on and off, which I like. So I don't have to have the chain on there. It's got this front bag here, a slightly bigger bag here, bigger, bigger bag at the back. And then uh, I really like this strap. It's um, a really thick style strap with country road on it i can wear it as a crossbody which i really like it as a crossbody let me show you i really like it as a crossbody like this but also you can take it off and just use one bag with the chain over your shoulder um you could probably use one as a clutch bag if you wanted i like the adaptability of it but i also like the plain color um it also comes with this little one that attaches to the strap which i guess you could just use for like coins or whatever you wanted to but when uh, we go on trips in the future this is gonna be so nice to just have on my front it fits my camera in there it fits my tripod it fits my purse and everything like that in it and that's what i wanted just something that i can wear a lot more 
so yeah I'm really really happy with it this was $179 which I can't think thing was too bad for a good quality bag um, and I just like that it's not black something a little bit different <laughs> final purchase from Country Road so this is just a pink very me very fuchsia pink um, card holder so at the back it's got a card holder and in the middle it's just got you can either put more cards in there that you don't use more often or coins or a bit of cash I wanted at home I have a purse that is just so bulky all the time and I don't want something like that anymore. I literally want a, pur a purse or like a card holder like this that I can literally just put straight in my bag which is flat, easy to carry around and not so bulky and uh, yeah it was pink so I couldn't not. Um, and that was $45 so not too bad for a um, card holder like that so I was really happy with that. I promise you that's everything I bought from Country Road but honestly just the quality of the items I love it I go in there every time like I want to buy everything but I know I can't <laughs> right now these last few things are basically just like gift items um or um things to take away tourists what are they called I don't want to call them gifts I like mementos I want to say. For Christmas I said I wanted a kiwi Christmas decoration and Finn couldn't find any in Canterbury but I actually love that what he got me instead. He got me this kiwi, uh, I'm afraid, he got me this kiwi um, little figurine sort of thing. This is gonna be so cute on a desk or just somewhere just to remind us of our little trip. We've also seen a kiwi in real life twice. And then at Christmas in Queenstown managed to find myself this. <laughs> this is a sparkly Christmas tree decoration that is a kiwi. Now at home at Christmas we just have a Christmas tree full of memories I like to call it. We have decorations from places around the world. Um, I get a Christmas decoration every year with like an E or Ellie on it and I just wanted something so when we have a house and a tree for ourselves one day or even at mine this year just to put a kiwi on the tree because New Zealand has been a big part of me and Finn's relationship and our life so far and yeah I want a little Christmas memory. <laughs> me and Finn have also when we were around Asia and traveling around Southeast Asia got a postcard from everywhere we try or tried to get a postcard everywhere we went and I found these really nice postcards this time we're in Queenstown so this is the first one it has got this is Lake Tikapo and the lupins and that is um Look, I think it's Mount Cook in the back, um, but yeah, really like the design of this, and this was also a similar one. I like the Skyliner gondola there with like just Queenstown in the background, um, and I thought these would be really nice for my bedroom just to put in two frames and just put them somewhere because, as I said, New Zealand and definitely Queenstown has been one of our favourite places. Um, I have more postcards. I have one of a kiwi and everything like that, and those will go with my other postcards at home this time in Queenstown when we went into Starbucks if you've seen the vlog I got very obsessed with this mug Starbucks do the been there series and I haven't actually seen any of them um, or been interested in collecting them but even Finn <laughs> and I just said earlier how Finn always says I buy too much uh, too many mugs said this was a really nice um, oh, I can't think of the word souvenir that's what I'm thinking of souvenir of Queenstown it's got everything on it I love the illustrations it's got a parachute it's got someone bungee jumping it's got the lake it's got Arrowtown it's got a kiwi it's just got everything on there that reminds us of Queenstown I love the illustrations on it I love the design so that was something we said we were definitely probably gonna get just to remind us and I will use this when I go home as well um I really really like it and that was $36 so it's about 18 pounds but so worth it um i'm really glad we got a, at least like at least one souvenir also when we were in queenstown we went to the remarkable sweet shop um this you, there's one in arrowtown then there's also one on in the town center of queenstown and they do some amazing fudge um i got some last time and i wanted to take some home for my family to try um so when me and finn were trying some that was a Maltese one which finn really liked there was a flat white one which tastes like coffee cake um a creme brulee one which was really nice and a chocolate mousse one so i'm going to take that home to my family so we can 
delve into those. I thought I should bring at least something back. I'm on to my last two things. Right, these last two things are kind of just quite random. Um, Yeti. This is a Yeti um, mug, um, travel mug. Been using it the whole time we've been here for work. This is $55, so what, £27 around that sort of price. Um, and really good, really, really good quality travel mug. Um, it's massive, size of my head, um, and has been great whilst we've been working and busy, and I definitely think I'll be using this at home. Um, but yeah, Yeti is such a good brand for like these water bottles, travel mugs, Finn's got two water bottles. Um, they're not actually, I'd say, that expensive for what they are. Um, you can get them in the UK and they're just not as widely available yet because it's an American brand. For some reason, New Zealand stock more American brands, especially with outerwear. And I may have bought something that is viral on TikTok and I couldn't not because it is cheaper here in New Zealand. For some reason, it was cheaper here. So when I was looking at getting one at home eventually, because I like to drink a lot of water, but I tend to just drink out of straws. And when I was going home, um, I definitely knew I needed to invest in a better water bottle or like a stainless steel one. Um, but yeah, when I saw that this was cheaper in New Zealand, I kind of had to get one. If you don't know what it is yet, I bought a Stanley mug. <laughs> Um, these went viral on TikTok. They are absolutely everywhere. This is so pretty. It's in the rose quartz colour. Um, and yeah, it's massive. I haven't used it yet. I literally picked it up today. Um, but yeah, this is going to be incredible for me at home to drink more water. Clean as well, because I'm terrible with making sure I clean, um, my bottles and stuff. And yeah, I just think I'm going to be drinking a lot more water because you just grab it and sip, which sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But I got it. So um, it was $80 here in New Zealand with free delivery, which is about £40. Um, actually cheaper than that. I think it was... It went down to £38, I think it kind of translated to. And in the UK, it's at least £45 and paying for delivery. So I kind of... In my head, I was like, if it's cheaper, I might as well get it. And I know I'm going to use it. That was my last present to myself. I've bought so much stuff. Um, anyway, we always say, me and Finn have both said, like, we have bought good quality items that we will, that we will definitely be using at home. Stuff that's going to last us a long time. Stuff that we can't buy in the UK as well. So we have definitely, like, told ourselves, um excuses of why we bought all of this stuff but it is true we can't get it at home so we might as well get it out here and a lot of it is so good quality um but yeah if you have enjoyed watching this massive haul make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already um and yeah if you have watched to the end comment down below because thank you so much for watching and yeah i will see you next time bye guys mm -hmm.